welcome to the next part. Now we've stopped here for a little break, but we'll be starting off again very soon, I think. Yes, here we go. Now we seem to have lost the sun a bit. Still got some blue sky and clouds, but that cloud looks a little bit greyer than it did. Sheep over on the left there, all starting off to run, run along the bit of pasture land. Good to see. Now this is all Dentdale, it tells me on my handy map. And had I had this map with me, which I didn't for some inexplicable reason, I think the reason was I never actually intended on this ride to come this far. This was going to be a, a small circular run more locally, but because the weather was good I decided to venture a little bit further out and uh, therefore I had to sort of play it by ear so to speak. But looking at the map now, when we get a bit further along this lane towards Millthrop and the Brown Road which runs from Dent to Sedbur, before then we reach a small bridge and that bridge I turned right to take me onto that brown road and if I carried straight along I would have ended up going through Holm Open Farm which I saw the signpost for up on the main road but um, didn't really know much about that but the little lane would have taken me would have cut off the whole of Sedba which would have been rather nice and uh, would have taken me under another disused railway bridge, the same one that leads from Ingleton to Sedbur and beyond I now see that actually goes right up to Kendall. Now what a shame that that railway line now disused, all the effort that went into building that, all the men that put all that hard work in, oh blimey what's happening here? <laughs> Mr Gear I think there. So it's probably a senior moment. I was probably thinking to myself, hello, this is an old British bike. I've got the gear change on the right hand side, not the left. And I'll probably put the rear brake on instead. And we should try to avoid that in future. Anyway, where was I? Yes, that yeah, all that effort that went into making that railway running through the most wonderful countryside is no longer available. If ever there was a reason for reinstating these railway lines and that's one of them anyway that's just my view I'm sure others have others I'd like to walk them if some of them have been converted into cycleways and the ability to walk along them anyway, we should continue our ride and looking down over Dentadale River D which occasionally we see just glinting in the sunshine or what there is of it. I can tell you I now have 11 subscribers because a gentleman called Frank Todd has just subscribed. Well, thank you very much Frank. It's good to have you on board and I hope you enjoy these rides. You can look back at all the old ones <laughs> should you feel so inclined. <clears throat> I enjoy them anyway. Oh we got a bit of sunshine again that's lovely. Oh but um, I can see we've got molehills over in that field over there too.
It's a variety. Look at the moss growing in that on those uh, stones. Oh, trees come down there. Oh, that was a whopper. Didn't do much of that wall, did it? Right mucky in here too. Look, look at that stuff in the middle of the road. Oh, just saw the flash of uh, River D down there. stone buildings now this is the little bridge the little turning to the right now if I'd gone straight on here I would have cut off a lot of Sedba all of Sedba ended up on the A road which I returned on so another time We'll try that. Now we're going to come to the end of this uh, particular section. We come up to the the main road, which I'm definitely going to look on my little map here, and that is would be the ooh, the A something or other six eight three, I think. Yeah, here it is, and we're going to stop here. So I'll see you again later on, perhaps.